On Sunday, May 6th, the Yankees completed a three-game sweep of the Cleveland Indians for the first time since 2013. It capped an amazing run of 15 wins in 16 games. And with Jordan Montgomery on the DL, Aaron Boone handed the ball to 25-year-old Domingo Herman for his first major league start. What followed hadn't been seen in over 120 years. Right, three is called. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number seven. Struck him out swinging. Slider down and in. Strikeout number nine for Herman. What a debut. Herman retired the first 11 batters he faced before walks to Jose Ramirez and Edwin Encarnacion. But neither base runner advanced past first. And those were the only two base runners the right-hander allowed all day. Herman became the first pitcher since 1893 to throw at least six hitless innings with at least nine strikeouts in his first career start. And he became the first Yankees pitcher to toss six no-hit innings in his first start in the majors. But because Cleveland's Mike Clevenger was nearly as dominant, Herman left with the game tied and watched as the Indians manufactured a four-run lead. Then in the eighth, the Yankees' unrelenting lineup woke up. Heads up, base hit, and an RBI for Gardner. High drive, right field, here comes Gardner. Judge is in there with a double. It's 4-3 Indians. Cleveland intentionally walked pinch hitter Giancarlo Stanton with one out in the ninth. And with runners on first and second, up came the kid, Labor Torres. High fly ball, see ya! A walk off home run! And a child leads them to a win! They've done it again! The blast to center field penciled Torres into the record books. He's the youngest Yankees player to ever hit a walk off home run. The 2018 Yankees seem to be rewriting history on a daily basis.